Hey guys, Mordecai here. Straight to the point video number two. What we're going to do is we're going to model a wooden barrel. Alright, so let's get straight to the point. Got my four my four viewports here, right? So I'm going to select this one, Alt W to maximize it. Cool. So up here, go to my Create tab. Got to get a cylinder because barrels are of a cylinder shape. <clears throat> so I'm going to click drag, let go, pull up, get an idea of how high or how tall I want my barrel to be. There you go. I click again. Boom. Right. So now I have a cylinder. Over here, I'm going to add one more height segment to have this middle piece, and you'll see what I'm going to do with that later. All right. So here, depending on what you want, you can add or remove your sides. You know. So I'll stick with uh, 18. There we go. It's a decent number. All right. So next, I'm going to right-click, convert to edible poly. Cool. So now. Or you drop this down so you have all these different options. Okay, so now you have to think about the shape of a barrel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, kind of make it fat, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take these ones, make sure that you grab all of them all the way around. Okay, and we're going to go to my left viewport. Okay, so with the left viewport, I'm going to hit Z so I can focus on it, and then. You have your X and Y axes. You can just kind of stretch out. And then if you hold Alt and then select things, you deselect them. Just like that. Okay. So before you go any further, you always want to oh see, look at that. Look at that mistake. See how it looks outward like that, but it's flat this way. It's a big no no. Right? So the reason why, you know, is because when I was in the left screen, I was only dragging it on the X, right? So they're only going to go out in that direction. Okay. So what you want to do is let's go ahead and undo this. And control Z. What you want to do is you want to grab it from the center, right? And pull out. You want to grab it by all the verts. Like that. See how they all go out? So we deselect these ones. And we want to make sure that we do not have them all selected. We just kind of build it out some more. See, so now we're kind of getting that shape of that barrel, right? GG. So now we're going to take this one, and we're, or these ones, and we're going to take these ones, make sure they're all selected. You know, and then we're going to grab and then pull down, just kind of bring them in a little bit. Voila. Okay, so now, as you can see, our barrel is kind of short. So if you go here, and you just select Edible Poly, where there's no sub menu selected. Scale it up a little bit. There we go. Cool. W for your movement transform. All right. Cool. Got a barrel going. Okay. So now barrels normally have those uh, rings, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an edge. I'm gonna take this one and this one, holding control. You can select multiple things. And over here you have this ring and this loop. Okay. So loop. What it will do is you have an edge and it will ring, or I'm sorry, it will loop all the way around, right? So try it out. Boop. Yes, look at that, see? So now you have all those uh, edges selected real quick. Another way to do that, double click. Hold control, double click. Yes, it's awesome, cool. So right here, you have this chamfer. What, what chamfer does is it will take your edges and it will split them, right? I'll show you again. You have the single lines, edges, you know, and then hit the chamfer button, this little guy right here, boom, see, so now if you adjust the value, you can kind of like get an idea of how big you want those, uh, those metal pieces to be, well, I'll do it right there, right, so now, now you have an idea of where they're at, now you want them to stick out, right, so what you want to do is you want to take your polygon, right, so you select one, and then if you hold shift and click one next to it, that will ring or loop all the polygons like that. So holding control, left click, and then you hold shift and left click again, you select all of those. Right? So what we do is once we make sure we have all these pieces selected, we're going to hit the extrude button. This little guy here, I like to use the little guy just because you have more control over it. Uh, so click that. Ooh, see. So now, 
it's like, oh, what happened? Well, the problem here is you have this little guy right here, and what it does is extrude the polygons by group. So if you click that, it's by the local normal. And there's by polygon as well. Right? So you can get some different styles, separate designs going. It's pretty cool. You know, and then you have the value here that you can change. So we're going to do this by local normal. So let's go ahead and bring that down a little bit. All right, see, see where I'm getting at? Get these uh, little little guys. So we'll go 1.2, sure. Why not? Cool. Already look like a barrel, right? Cool. So now we have this top and this bottom. Okay. This can get, there's multiple ways to go about doing this. This is one way to go about it. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to only work on the top, okay? So I'm going to delete that, and you have to grab the border, right? And basically what it is is it will take a basically a border, right? You can take an edge like that. You can, you can <clears throat> select the border like that, or you can just hit border and select it like that. Cool? All right, so if you go to your scale transform using the R hotkey, you have this. So what you do is you hold shift, and you drag down, right? So now you're creating these polys from this border, right? Pretty cool, right? So if you hit W to get your movement transform, you hold shift again, you can drag on along any of these uh, axes, and this time we want the polygons to go down. So we're going to hold shift and drag down. Boom, look at that. You're getting that lip, cool? So now, because this is a border and you know you just want to close it you've got this cap button so you hit cap boom look at that got the top of your barrel done cool so now we could do it on the other side you know like sure it, it's pretty easy but I'm going to show you another way about doing it just because I can you know so you know one way to do it you're going to know two by the end of this video so what we're going to do I take these polygons and we're gonna delete them. Whoo! Done. Right? You're like, oh my god, I just deleted half the barrel. Well, hold on. So up here, edible poly. What I do is go up here to hierarchy tab. Alright, this is pretty important stuff here. If you affect the pivot only right here, you can adjust your pivot, right? See this button is still selected. You can move your pivot, so you want the pivot up here, you can move it down here, whatever you want. What we're going to do now is under alignment, and we're going to center to this object. Cool. You're going to right click. Oops. Sorry, not right click. You're going to click that. You know, to deselect your pivot. You're going to go back here. Make sure that your edible poly is selected. We're going to go down to. Where's that? There it is. Symmetry. All right. So now you're like, well, what did that do? Right here, what you want to do is you grab your mirror, and we want to mirror it on the z-axis, right? So with the mirror selected, with the appropriate mirror axis that you want to move, grab your movement transform, and drag this down. Oh, there's the rest of that barrel. Oh, look at that, right? So with here, weld seam checked. Just whoop, boom. Oh, look at that. Oh, see? Basically, I just symmetry the top, and I just quickly made the bottom part, right? So that's, now you know two ways of going about doing it. It's pretty awesome. So when you're done with that, you just right-click, collapse two, boom. They have a barrel. Done deal. So now you have a full barrel. You want to go back to your hierarchy tab, effect pivot only, center it to the object. So now your pivot is now centered. Click that again. And there you go. There is your barrel. All right, we'll uh, cover more as into texturing it down the line. Feel free to leave any comments under the video. Let me know how I can make this better, make it worse, whatever. Cool. Thank you all for watching, and hope to see you guys again soon.